Okay, Mr. Muspiano. Hey, um, what's your video? So, here's what I can uh, reply to you. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So we can go debate keep on debating but you will never understand the truth no way you cannot understand about the spirit of God you know why because Mr. Puspiano you are a children you are a son of Satan while I am a man of God so how can we understand it's sad you have so many points you have so many things that you argue about God being an omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience. Why did God create uh, Satan, demons? Why did he create hell? It's like this, Mr. Mospiano. Lucifer became Satan of his arrogancy and his boastfulness. God created him, not Satan. He just became Satan because of his foolish pride. And all these angels became demons because they followed a Lucifer who became Satan. You see, it's like this. If you will go to hell, Mr. Mosbiano, it is because you want to go there. God is offering you a way, a way so you will escape from that terrible place, but you, don't, you do not like to listen. Here's the deal. Yes, there is hell. God created hell for Satan and all his demons, but he created a way for you not to go there. That's why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on our, on our behalf. You see, God the Father is not God the Son. God the Son is not God the Holy Spirit. These are three persons in one God. So therefore the Father is different from the Son. The Son is different from the Holy Spirit. It is God the Father who sent God the Son, His Son, to die on the cross so He can save us. He paid the penalty of our sins because God is a just God. A balanced being. Because the wages of sin is death. That is eternal separation from God, according to Romans chapter 6, verse 23. You have so many questions, Muspiano. You are questioning this great God, the Almighty God, the creator of the universe. You act, you move because of Him, Mr. Muspiano. You live because of Him. You breathe because of Him. Because of God. God is the potter and we are just the clay. So therefore, how can the clay question the potter? Are you getting my point, Mr. Mospiano? When God created Adam and Eve, yes, they were perfect. They were very innocent. They didn't know anything about sin. But God tested them. God gave them the test. If they will eat that forbidden uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil, they will surely die. They were given the warning. But what did they do? Instead of listening to God, they listened to, to that snake, to Lucifer. They disobeyed God. So this world became a fallen race. Your question is like this, you know. Why did God create Hitler, knowing that Hitler will massacre, will murder millions and millions of, of Jews, innocent people? Still, why did God create him? Mr. Mospiano, I ask you, sir, please, just be concerned about your soul. You have a soul, Mr. Mospiano. Have mercy on your soul. Your soul is the most important thing on this planet. The Bible is very clear. What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and yet will lose 
his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mr. Muspiano, if you will only open your heart and allow Jesus Christ to come in and change your life, you will come to know how loving God is. God is so merciful. You see, the reason why you are still alive and breathing, Mr. Muspiano, do you know why? Because God loves you so much. If God hates you, you could have been dead long, long time ago, and you are being tormented now in hell. But no! God is giving you chances after chances, Mr. Muspiano. I have told you about myself. When I was 15, 16, 17 years old, I was a terrible sinner. I went to drugs, gambling. I was a terrible person. I was on my way to hell. And then somebody came to my house, an American preacher. That was 1972, Mr. Mospiano. I was a Catholic. My great-grandparents were all Catholics. We were brainwashed by this, by this uh, priest, by these uh, uh, um, bishops who poisoned our mind. We don't know anything about God, about Jesus, about the Bible, until somebody came to my house, an American preacher. He explained to me what, what the plan of God is. He explained to me the Bible. I could have uh, yelled to him and argued with him. I could have done that, but no, I did not. I listened to him. And then after that, he explained to me that I was a terrible sinner. And then I to repent, and I need Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. That's what I did, Mr. Muspiano. I repented for all my sins and asked God's forgiveness. And I allow invited Jesus Christ to come into my heart. And he changed my life, Mr. Muspiano. That was 1972. I became an ordained minister, senior pastor, president of our organization. And now I've been preaching Jesus Christ for the past 36 years. And that one thing that he wronged me. He never abandoned me. Mr. Muspiano, we can go on back and forth, post a video, and I will respond to your videos, but it will, it will um, do nothing. You know why? Because you, you, you close your eyes, you close your mind. Why don't you allow God to speak to yourself, to speak to your heart, Mr. Muspiano? According to you, you cannot prove that there is no God. God is only one God, Mr. Muspiano. The Almighty God, the creator of the universe, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. His name is Jesus Christ. He died for you on the cross, Mr. Muspiano. He suffered. He was brutally mocked, blasphemed, insulted just because of you. Because of us. But no. Instead of listening, instead of allowing God to change your life, we are just like this other atheists who are so ungrateful, who are so unthankful for what God did for them. So the promise tell me, piano, if you will be tormented in hell, no one is to be blamed but yourself. I just pity your soul, Mr. Mospiano. The Bible is very clear. Who can create these this billions of galaxies, stars and planets, moons, oceans, seas? Mr. Mosbian, open your eyes sir, before it will be too late. I do not hate you. I never hate anyone. I do not know even one of you personally. Mr. Mospiano, you seem to be a very sensible man. Open your eyes, sir. Open your heart. Allow God to change your life. And you will come to know how grateful He is, how loving He is. He loves you so much, Mr. Mospiano. Before it will be too late. Don't be like this uh, wicked atheist who keep on blaspheming, mocking, and denying God. These people will surely be tormented in, in hell. But about what you soul, Mr. Mospiano? 